first of all, as usual, I would like to thank all those uh, who have uh, made it uh, to today's talk. Today, uh, we not only will be having a, a talk, but um, there will also be a book uh, signing session at the end. As uh, you can see, the title of our talk today is to do with the pollination of uh, orchid. Okay? Our speaker, Mr. Ong Otek, is, <coughs> is actually uh, from Frim. So he has uh, co-authored this particular book. I know that um, some of you have been informed by myself, uh, whether it's through the website or Facebook, that we didn't have any books for today. Um, so I actually received uh, even calls you know, from members who are not quite happy, asking what happened to the books. But um, well, I'm glad to tell you that uh, Dr. Ruth Q has managed to actually bring a few back. So we will uh, have the books after all. And uh, they will be going at a uh, very special price. Uh, the retail price, I believe, is 190. Today, um, is uh, they were going at 130. That's right. Okay. Um, so coming back to uh, credit card. Don't worry, I got I got lots of uh, uh, checks I can uh, pay for you, and uh, five percent is interest <laughs> per week. <laughs> Okay, um, coming back to our talk today, um, we'll be seeing uh, not just slides but, so, but also some videos. Okay? I've been uh, informed by Ong just now that you know, some of these videos are very difficult to acquire, you know, took uh, a lot of time and patience. So you'll be seeing something that's quite special. Um, some of the people in the research uh, field have been saying that you know, they've been working on similar field for over 20 years and they've not seen uh, the, the same kind of content. So uh, we are very privileged today to be able to see all of this. So without much further ado, I welcome Mr. Hope Kotek to give our talk today. Thank you, Elias. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, please allow to, uh, for me to uh, introduce myself. I'm all uh, of the years as already more or less introduced. Um, from the Forest Research Institute Malaysia. Um, my work in Frim is actually as a, a nursery caretaker. I, I basically look after the pocket nursery in Frim. At the same time, I'm also doing a little bit of work on taxonomy. Um, and besides that, uh, I have a, a passion for pocket pollination. And, and this is actually just a sideline. So for the past four years or so, I've been uh, conducting observations on pollination of uh, orchids. Okay. So uh, with the results here, I would like to present to you uh, the title of my presentation here, The Secret Sex Life of Malaysian Orchids. Uh, why is it a secret? Because uh, pollination of orchids, especially in Peninsula Malaysia, is very poorly known. Um, some of the work that has been done previously that I'm aware of uh, by Ridley um, in the 1890s, um, by Berkeley and Carr in the 1920s, and that's all we get. I think it's probably just a handful. So I'm actually very curious to find out you know, what actually pollinates the orchids and how do they do it, uh, what type of insects pollinate the orchids. And so I have conducted the uh, investigation. So um, as an introduction, um, orchids is one of the uh, largest plant family in, in the world. And there's estimated to be 25,000 to 30,000 species worldwide. And they are found almost in every part of the world except uh, Antarctica. And in Peninsular Malaysia alone, we have more than 900 orchid species um, in 143 genera. And from these uh, 
right? Hundred species. There are five subfamilies, uh, which is the uh, Apostasioidae, the Cyclopedioidae, Epidendroidae, Ochidoidae, and Venidoidae. Don't, don't worry about this. Um, I'm not going further anymore. Um, before that, I'm going into a little bit of botany, um, just to let you have an idea of the uh, structure of orchids. You have the uh, dorsal sepal here, and then the petals, the lateral sepal, the uh, lip, and the column. And the column is actually the uh, reproductive part of the orchid. And the column consists of the anther, which is the uh, male reproductive part, and the stigma, which is the uh, female reproductive part. And in the anther, you have the uh, pollinium. And in the orchid pollination, the uh, <coughs> insect will need to remove the pollinium and to deposit into the stigma to affect fertilization. So what pollinate orchids? Um, humans, yes, um, but for today we are not going to talk about that. But we are going to focus more on pollination by insects. So what sort of insect pollinate orchids? Um, I was just talking to Elias and he was saying that he always thought that orchids are um, only pollinated by bees. But actually, there are quite a few different insects that can pollinate orchids. So bees, yes, they are one of the uh, pollinators. But you also have flies and moth and butterflies as well that can be pollinators of orchids. So how are orchids pollinated by insects? Um, <clears throat> from here onwards, I'll be showing you lots of photographs and uh, videos. I mean, the photographs and video will show you very clearly. Um, let's start off with uh, Cymbidium Felix Sunyanum. This is a giant Indian honeybee. So what the uh, bee does is that it first lands on the lid and then it enters the flower, uh, presumably in search for nectar at the base of the lid. So then the uh, bee will exit, uh, removing the enter containing the pollinium. This process will be repeated when the bee visits from flower to flowers and that way it will pollinate the flowers. So the next one is Dendrobium trumanatum. Um, here's a bee uh, entering the flower and again exiting the flower and removing the pollinium. Same thing if the bee visits another flower, it will, the, the process will be repeated um, except that the pollinium this time will be deposited into the stigma to fertilize the flowers. Um, here's another stingless bee with the pollinium on the thorax upon removing it from this Dendrobium leonis flower. And then in Ivea densa, again the honeybee was seen to be pollinated. Um, the difference is the pollinium is attached to the head instead of the back. So when this bee visits from flowers to flower, what it does is that it basically pushes the pollinia into the stigma and thus fertilizing the flowers. And in Trixpon trichoglotis, um, another bee lands on the lid, it enters the flower and then as it exits, it removes the pollinia here. Then we move on to the orchids that are pollinated by flies. Um, this is actually quite interesting because uh, fly pollination is always thought to be uh, the seed. But 
for this case, uh, the fruit flies actually uh, gain something from the flower. Uh, where there, there is a group of uh, researchers who have conducted some studies, and they actually found out that um, the flowers actually produce uh, chemical compound, and the flies will consume the uh, chemical. And upon consuming the chemical, they actually use it as a secondary methanol like uh, and convert it to uh, boost their pheromone system so that the, the um, use it for their mating and all the uh, pollinators are actually male flies 